Alrighty, it is a Friday. We've got rain out there. The front is just now. It's about 10.45 in the morning. The front's just passing through the area. This is a picture from Sutro Tower, so kind of over San Francisco, up over South, um, South San Francisco. And you can see the clouds, the turbulence, and that activity is all moving off to the south and the east, up into the mountains, where there's a winter storm warning. Rainfall accumulations have been light. Even Marin County's been under a half inch of rain generally. The storm system, not that productive here, but will be productive in the mountains with a winter storm warning, like I said, and wind gusts 50 miles an hour. They'll be chaining up probably in the next hour or so up on 50 and 80, so lunchtime travel. Uh, the, today's not a great travel day at all, but then we go into a dry, drier period. So this is that live picture, beautiful. I love watching the clouds and I can click them back too, I think. Yeah, and you kind of just see the, them going backwards on this, but just the stratocumulus or stratus and then the altocumulus or the strato, yeah, I can't even tell what they are, it's a bunch of everything. But it's a front and there's a lot of instability and that has produced us some rainfall. This is the last 24 hours um, and essentially, really, it's only been raining for the next last couple of hours, but Marin County, Northern California, you can just... If you can't read the numbers, just look at the colors. The blues over a half inch, the greens under a half inch, the um, light greens under a quarter of an inch, and so on and so forth. And so you get a vibe for, okay, well there's, there's where the rain is falling out. And then you can see it on the west slope of the Sierra Nevada too, right? So you can see the, the blues. And I just go, okay, it's some blues. Sacramento, not that much. Uh, and then we work our way into the East Bay and south and you can see san jose really barely reporting anything in terms of rainfall so uh is it a productive storm yeah because it's going to push uh put it down about a foot foot and a half of snow about above five thousand feet so that's that's productive and rain's awesome too and we're getting plenty of rain but you know who's not getting plenty of rain right i know it's true southern california they're just dry as heck we'll look at that in a minute a uh, winter storm warning there in the mountains. And then that purple area along the coast represents that high surf warning, which is gonna stay in effect. They'll drop it based on, on metrics size of the waves. But I would, in my mind, it's a high surf warning for the next five days. Cause it spikes up tomorrow. So it's building, building, spikes up, drops down, comes back up. So it does this, it's, you know. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be sketchy in the ocean for the next three or four days. So be careful if you're heading that way. And then you see the, the this area offshore, that's a, a small craft advisory, just indicating that winds are gonna be out of the onshore direction, so it's not really a surf pattern, and it's going to be, um, uh, you know, just kind of rough out there, bumpy. Okay, and then there's, there's the surf potential, deadly surf possible, which is, this place is known for de deadly surf, especially in Northern California. This is the satellite image. You can see the front now, this as of 1049, the front is just moving through, and I love weather systems like this, because you can, like when we have an atmospheric river, you can't time it. I mean, you try to, but it's just a fire hose, right? When you have a frontal passage like this, you can see the wind shift. You can see the front coming because the wind starts to blow more southerly. And then you can see the, when the front is passed because you start seeing northerly and westerly winds. And so that's an indication that, you know, you can just, they're, they're, they're forecastable in terms of how much rain because they're, they're progressing. In this case, this storm is, is forecastable in the mountains as well, even though it's going to get hung up there, right? We talked about this the other day. The bottom or the top of the troposphere, the storms go, well, the storms go up the west slope and they're kind of going pretty fast. But when they get to the top of that ramp, they start pressing against the top of the troposphere, which is that that's the layer in the atmosphere we live in. But there's an inversion up there and so it stops. So the clouds stop and the storm gets fat. And it's like an ice skater putting out her arms, his arms, their arms. And it slows down and that creates more snowfall as well. It's concert called conservation of angular momentum. If you had physics back in the day, which is, <laughs> it is kind of a difficult concept, but you just get this picture of the ice skater. And so that's one of the reasons. So it's, even though this is progressing through Marin County, the mountains aren't high enough to make it hit the top and slow down. But as it gets into Lake Tahoe, it is. And then I just see some good development here this this area here this plume so there's some there's some dynamics with this for sure and that's where those winds are coming from up around lake tahoe this is the gfs global forecast model and it is showing rain right now it shows here at about 
four o'clock this afternoon past the Bay Area, but stuck in the mountains for a couple of hours, hence the winter storm warning, conservation of angular momentum, and then it clears out and it stays clear. And then it stays clear and gets windy. See these lines, see that right there? So that's, that's an offshore wind. Now for us, it's fine because we are, have had rain. Southern California, it, it will be of a concern because anytime you get a Santa Ana wind event down there, which this could produce, well, you've got your fire danger because the rainfall, what you're going to see is how minimal the rainfall is in Southern California, it has been in Southern California. I mean, let's look at this 5% in San Diego of where it should be for this time of year. I mean, right? 4%, 2%, Santa Barbara is 12% of where they should be. Mm. And as you go north, you see those numbers come into view and more, more what you want to see. And these are stunning differentials or disparities because, uh, you know, first, first thing I know is buck 61, 161%. That's Lake Shasta. Okay, that reservoir is kicking ass. 130%, Lake Orville. That reservoir, the, these are now the two largest surface reservoirs in the state, are really doing well. For, for, for gaining water. Marin County, in some cases, a 211% of rainfall average. And then as soon as you go over the Golden Gate Bridge, you're down to 70%, 80%. And then in the valley, it's a little bit, little bit better, but as you go south, as you get down to Lompoc, um, down towards San Luis Obispo, you really run out of, you run out of rain. And so these will be concerns. And this is, for, it's just unusual this time of year to have that much of a disparity. I don't think I've ever seen that. And well, I think I mentioned this yesterday. And this, this page, by the way, again, from Jan Knoll, uh, National Weather Service lead forecaster for years, probably the best, probably the best meteorologist in the state. I shouldn't say that, but I, I know I, I'm pontificating, but I just, he's really awesome. Um, he's, but his, he has a website, Golden Gate Weather Services. It's linked to my page and his stuff if you really want to just get granular and get in, he gets in. He's an awesome climatologist. But um, so, yeah, so that's, that's where that, that map came from. And, you know, you, you look at that and you think, okay, well, it, 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 what's it going to take for, you know, rain to get into Southern California? And that's a great question. You know, right now, as we look at this, when this is what I was getting at, let me back it up. This is Vorticity, 500 millibars. And I did, first of all, you know, I like the way it looks. It's like a lava lamp. And it just, it just reminds us that the earth is, is breathing and alive. The, um, but the model, so I circle us there. And then look at this, everything's going over. There's the bulls, I see this, there's the high right there. I'm just, I'm just clicking through time right now. And it, everything's going over the top. And then watch this guy, this guy shows up right there. That's a huge high pressure ridge, broad ridge. That means, so, so far nothing's gotten in. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen, but this is pretty dominant high pressure. Oh my gosh, right? What do you do with that? So this, now we are all the way into gen, almost January 20th and we're dry. January, right? So that's something to think about. Um, again, we're doing great for rainfall in Northern California and that's not the end of the world if you're us. It is a little bit of bad if you're in Southern California and you're at 3%, San Diego. Los Angeles, as, as dry as they've ever been since records began. San Diego, the second driest they've ever been since records began. And then you go north and you're at 200% of rainfall average up around the Russian River, 200% to 2%. Okay, it's snowing up in the mountains. Snow level's down about 5,000 feet. They will be chaining up. Just in the last hour, I've noticed there's more snow sticking in the trees. The winds have been coming up. They will, <clears throat> they will be chaining up, up on and off probably in the next hour or so. So let's keep an eye on that. If you're going that way, I'm sure you're not. Ocean Beach, Big Surf, looks okay right now, but it's, it's building today, which is always, I, every so often a friend will go, hey, let's go out. And I'm like, you know, if it swells dropping and it's big, it's fine. But when, it's, when you go out, you paddle out on a day when the swell's small, but it's building, it's terrifying, especially Ocean Beach, because I've had it happen too, where you paddle out and let's say it's eight foot faces, which is fun, it's fun. Uh, and all of a sudden, like 20 minutes into the session, the sky darkens in this wall of water, it's, you know, 15 feet, 
13, 14 feet, just shows up on the sandbar and you're staring it down. And so building swells are terrifying that way. And if you're, if you're a fisherman or a surfer, you know what I'm talking about, man. Like you see, you kind of see God. You're just like, what is that mutant out here? What is it doing out here? It's just amazing how big the swells can be after you know, not showing much at all. So, okay, this is uh, Lake Tahoe Donner. It's snowing up there. I just pulled this up because it's a picture I've never used and I may never use it again. Well, just because it doesn't show much. Maybe when it's sunny out. Okay, so that's the weather for today. So what did we talk about? We got we got the, the winter storm morning. That's all day today. We've got rain. It's going to end this afternoon. There'll be chances to get out this afternoon. Um, and then the next couple of days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's gonna be nice. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have some good weather around here. So if you're a skier, you may want to get on it, right? Because I think that you know they're getting snow tomorrow. If you, I know everybody's going back to work, sorry, but uh, if you if you can get up there, it'd be awesome. It really would be. Okay. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, I will see you back here tomorrow.